Hey guys, Alex coming to you with another kit review. Just kit review after kit review this week. Um, what I have here is Dragon Smart Kit No Idea Panzer 38T with a 2 centimeter flat gun. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a shot in the dark. The Aufklärungs Panzer 38 T with mit, mit 2 centimeter, centimeter something 38. Okay. I'm so sorry for all the nice German speakers out there, um, and I also am taking German class, but as you can see, it's just starting. Um, this kit here just intrigues me for, I mean, it's just, I mean, look at it. I mean, let's just go, let's just take a look at this box art real quick. It's just cool. Let's just go ahead and set it up like that. Um, this kit here is a bit pricey. Um, I do know that I think it's about like 40, it runs about $40, 30 to $40. US, which I mean, which isn't too bad uh, for a smart kit because I mean, you get everything and more what you ask for with smart kits by Dragon. Um, but I ended up, this is one of the models that I actually got on sale, um, picked up for half off. So I probably only paid, I think it was like nine, oh geez, I want to say maybe $20 for it, maybe a little less than that. I, I, don't, I don't remember the price for it. But um, it's a really nice model. Another reason why I picked it up as well is because the Panzer 38 is one of my favorite tanks of the Second World War. And pretty much every vehicle that has that was built off of the chassis of the Panzer 38 is just a part of, really, really just a part of one of my favorite vehicles. Let's go ahead and bust it open and take a look on the inside real quick. All right, first off, we have a bajillion, bajillion magic tracks. Always good to see. All right, and behind that we have our nice MG42 ton of photo etch and our decals and our clear parts. I'm just going to place that there. Ooh, detail from every direction. Let's see. A fender bender, you say. Alrighty. Rank file and serial number. In details. It's probably gonna be a really, really nice kit. Alright, we got here we have the turret. They're part of the turret. I'm just going to go ahead and call it that. Um, our turret slash observation post slash 20 millimeter housing. Tools. I'm sorry for the quickness of this video, but I don't believe the camera will last until the end of it. The antenna. Parts of the upper hole and the front of the hole. Another part of the piece of the upper hole, the turret mount. The 20 millimeter itself. You gotta look at that. 20 millimeter itself. The lower hole, tiny itty bitty little monster. Photo wedge for the grenade, um, the grenade netting. <laughs> grenade net, uh, grenade grills. I'm just going to throw it like that. Wait for the top. Nice, already bent. Nicely um, cut, photo etched, photo etched parts. Uh, more parts for the the hole, hole pieces, hatch pieces, or um, hatch parts of the superstructure, parts of the superstructure, and fenders. Our lovely wheels. Wheels are drive wheels, drive gear, and our idlers. Also, a platform for the interior. Comes with an engine, so partial interior. And our ammunition racks. Ammunition racks and ammunition. So our instruction sheet. Now pretty much m m most of the model will be used, most of the parts shall be used for the model. Our very nice typical Dragon model pieces. See here, the little drivetrain assembly will sit inside the tank. All right, we have a unit on the western front of 1942 and an identified unit of the eastern front of 1942. Well, this seems like a really nice, um, I won't say too complex of a smart kit, but if or anybody that's out there that's really that 
Adora's doing the interiors. This will definitely be a kit for you. Really, really nice interior for this tank. Um, I'm not too familiar with interior, so it kind of intimidates me. But we learn from our mistakes, and practice makes perfect. Let's go ahead and this time try to put this all back in a nice recording matter. Um, the Panzer 38 being one of the most successful light tanks, well, at least at the beginning of the war. Well, it's in the whole war. The beginning of the war, the Panzer 38 was one of the most successful vehicles in the in all of the German army, for that matter. So I don't see. Uh, I, I can definitely see how Germany ended up licensing um, the Czech. Czechoslovakia to go ahead and produce tanks for them on this chassis for being very reliable. But I do hear this tank was one of the last productions on this chassis, but one of the worst maintaining vehicles from what I've read up. Um, I'll go ahead and do another review on this for when I start it, which which I have no idea when that will be. But till then, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.